Hello, and welcome to Canada Reads American Style. I'm Shauna. And I'm Rebecca. Today, we're so excited to, and wow, we start almost every single podcast off with that. We're excited to invite you to our brand new YouTube channel where we are hosting all of our podcasts from the Canada Reads American Style podcast arena of things. So we have over 30 some odd podcasts at this time, and we have over 1,200 downloads in only yeah. like six months. Yeah. So we're pretty proud of all the work and, and effort that we've put into getting our channel together. So let me have Rebecca introduce herself. So I'm Rebecca and I'm the reason this all sort of started because I lived in California for a long time, came back to Michigan and discovered Canada Reads. And I watched the competition in 2017. I didn't read any of the books. I had just caught on to the competition and watched it and thought, oh, this is really cool. So in 2018, I read all the books, watched all the competition and loved it. In 2019, I commandeered Shauna to participate. We're both librarians. We work together in the same library in Michigan. And I said to her, please read all the books with me so we can talk about them because it's always more fun to talk about what you're reading with others because you get more out of the story when you're talking about it and sharing that. So she agreed <laughs> but then we started doing facebook videos of our reviews for the competition in 2019 and i will let her explain what happened the rest of 2019 but it was really fun we had we really enjoyed it we ended up with the number of followers and then after the competition ended shauna what did we do we started our podcast and we oh, you have to back up we oh after we, the competition ended oh yes so we decided that we wanted to keep our facebook page alive and active and we decided to read the rest of the long list for canada reads and the entire long list is 15 books which doesn't seem like a, a lot so we did about a book a month uh, and then a couple of the shorter ones, we did a couple of books a month, but basically we read a whole bunch of nonfiction well, <laughs> for the year. A lot of memoirs. Yeah. For the end of 2019. <laughs> and, and we do want to say that if you go back, so then what happened? So we were doing that and we sort of stopped doing the, uh, well, no, we did the videos. I think we did the videos through through the long list. But then in October of 19, we decided to do a podcast. And so now we don't really use our Facebook account except to upload. That's where we upload our, our podcast as well. But we started doing the podcast and it was, I mean, it was really a lot of fun. We actually really liked it kind of maybe even more than we did doing the Facebook because it gave us an opportunity to say a lot more about the books than we wanted to. But I want to give you a warning that if you go back and look at our earlier, our beginning podcast in starting in October, we had this weird like numbering system <laughs> in this process that was really kind of crazy because it, if you know anything about librarians, we're anal retentive. We like things to be defined in a certain way. And that's kind of what we did. And then when 2020 rolled around, we said, let's scrap what we were doing and let's start let's just go rogue, let's just have some fun. And now we're free flow, we free flow in 2020, starting in 2020. Which was a beautiful thing. Yeah, it's way more fun. It's a lot less stressful. It's a lot less planning and trying to coordinate everything. But I'm gonna have Shauna say a little bit about what happened in 2019 with our podcast because uh, I'll just say this, I, I think in the first podcast or second one or something, I said, Shauna, wouldn't it be great if just one time as we do this, if we could, if we could just interview an author, like one time, maybe at some point down in the future, we'll interview somebody. Wouldn't that be awesome? Like I'm such a author nerd and I fangirl over everybody. And then Shauna, what happened? 
We read Clint Malarchuk's book. Malarchuk. Clint Malarchuk. <laughs> and if you listen to our pod- podcasts and videos, you'll notice that I have very bad pronunciation. <laughs> uh, we read that book, and I noticed that Clint's email was at the back of the book. So I told Rebecca, hey, why don't you contact him? He's given, like, he's given you his, inf- his information. I think that means it's a sign you should do something about it. Yeah. So I reached out to him and he immediately said yes. And there you go. You know, it's kind of that, um, what do they call that when, uh, when you want something and you just put it out into the universe? I can't think of what it's called all of a sudden. But The law of uh, attraction? A law of attraction, exactly. It was law of attraction. I put it out there. Two weeks later, we basically had an interview with Chuck, uh, Clint. Oh my gosh, Clint Millar, Chuck. We are terrible. But anyway, after that, I kept saying to Shauna, We'd read a book and I'd say, I don't know, I'll just reach out to them. So we got Dr. James Muscalic, who wrote Life on the Ground Floor. And then we also had Tima McCurdy, who wrote The Boy on the Beach. So that kind of wound up 2019 and kind of bled over a little bit into 2020. And the truth is, we haven't stopped. And we've had a lot of amazing interviews. So we really encourage you to take a look at our list. And if there's a book that you've read or an author that you love, um, and this is all focusing on, of course, Canadian literature. Uh, take a look. It might be there might be someone there you want to hear or listen to them. And I promise you, you will want to read their book if you uh, listen to any of our podcasts. And with that, we want to thank you for listening and joining us on our multiple platforms. We have our Instagram page, which I will link in our video. And we have our YouTube page now, as well as our podcast. So we will, uh, we're actually in the process of moving everything from our Facebook page over to YouTube. So we will no longer have the Facebook page because we are excited for the CBC's Facebook page, which took off this year. And they had a huge response and a great following. And a lot of people are still reading the shortlist. So we're so excited for all of the shares and recommendations and people's views on the shortlist. And we don't want to be competitive in that manner. So we're just going to contribute our ideas and and do everything through the CBC's Facebook page. And we're going to move all of our content more to YouTube and Instagram. Yeah. And I just want to say, we already know we can't compete with the CBC. We're not suggesting that we can, but it's just that we thought the podcast and our YouTube channel is a lot more fun right now than the Facebook is. And I just want to mention to one last thing, uh, the way that Shauna and I work together. And when I sort of, I always say I dragged her kicking and screaming into this whole process, but, and I may not have actually made that clear, but (laughs) she's tech, I'm content. So she's the one who makes it look good, sound good. Uh, And I'm the one who tries to, I reach out to the authors and and publishers and Canada Reads uh, defenders and hosts, et cetera. I'm the one who does that part of it. But if it weren't for Shauna, I mean, it's a mutually beneficial relationship because we both um, enhance each other in our uh, expertise. How's that? Yeah, every great project needs a great team to pull it off. So with that, we thank you. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and tell all your friends about Canada Reads American Style. Bye.